Here in Cincinnati, Great American Ballpark in a city steeped in baseball history. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Cleveland Guardians going up against the Cincinnati Reds. First pitch coming your way next. Coming up on the first pitch, and today's starting pitcher, Nick Lodolo. What do you have on him, Singy? Well, he's not a rookie, but still very young in this game, learning his craft. I think the key is getting consistent reps and the opportunity to develop his stuff. Looking forward to watching him pitch in this one. Okay, all set to go. And now the center fielder, Miles Straw. That one misses, and we're underway. Counts 1-0. First pitch. Twelve thirty-five. Next offering is in for a strike. Next pitch way upstairs. That one in for a strike. Two and two. One on belted way back there and it's off the wall into second easily with a lead off double batting second the left fielder number 67 here's the left fielder number 67 and first offering is fouled off There's a foul ball. Here's the 0-2. Now a screamer into the outfield. And he makes it up to third with one away. Here's the Guardians lineup now. Someone who makes things happen for them, in part with his legs, Miles Straw. And Boog, we're talking about a guy who has great wheels and then puts them to good use. He's the team leader in stolen bases and runs score, man. Using his speed to just get in the scoring position and then just flying home when the guys behind him put the ball in play. I absolutely love watching him do it because he causes havoc on the base paths. Jose Ramirez in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Straw stands at third with one gone in the inning. Next offering is in for a strike. The 1 1. Good eye right there. Two balls, one strike. Here comes a pitch. Foul ball there. pitch that one the other way
Safe. And they take the lead. I'll expect a back and forth this entire game because of how good the offenses are. Now it's Fran Mil Reyes. I mean, these guys know they have to get going out of the gates, but you're not going to hear a skipper. You're not going to hear people really say that. And first offering is fouled off. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Another 0-2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Got him looking. And that is that. On to the bottom of the first. It's the Guardians one and the Reds nothing. Bottom of the first. Now the starting pitcher in this one, Tristan McKenzie. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. Bottom of the first, Jonathan Indy at the plate. The, red, the second baseman, Jonathan India. The pitch. That misses the zone, and it's 1-0. One one, no Next pitch is outside. Out to short. Rosario picks it up. One up, one down. Here's the lineup for the Reds. It features a great veteran presence, Joey Votto. You know, this is a player that's you know hit over 300 for his career in terms of batting average and being able to do that that is extremely good bat to ball skills that he's had for a long time he's just got a real consistent approach uses all fields and he's got a game plan when he comes to the plate so let's just keep our eyes on him I think it's pretty hard to take your eyes off of him. Right hander kicks deals. Swung on, popped up on the infield. Ramirez under it. He's got it. There's two away. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, that but it's hurt. so hard to get on the top of as a hitter. Kyler. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the catcher, Tyler Stevenson. Good contact guy, good defender. First pitch just misses. Next offering upstairs. On the ground out to short. Throw pulls him off the bag and he's safe. We all know that that first inning can be a critical one in terms of guys settling in and the tone being set for the game. So this isn't what you're looking for on defense. Two out errors are a lot like two out walks, but maybe even worse because your pitcher did his job to get what should have been the last out of that inning. Joey Votto in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. And the right hander deals. And that one fouled off.
Going to count one and two. One and two. Left hand batter waits. Ball two. That misses. Ball two. Next pitch misses, and that's ball three. Three two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Next offering is foul back. Stevenson leads off first with two down to the inning. The right hander gives up the two out walk. That is so two big. down. Aristides Aquino, the next to hit. Aquino. First offering misses badly for ball one. Next one is off the play, and now 2-0. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Red strand a couple, and it remains one up. New inning getting started. So in now for Cleveland, Ahmed Rosario. For the Guardians, the shortstop, Ahmed Lodolo, back to work. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Naquin makes the grab. One pitch and one out. That is it. The first baseman, number six, Owen. Owen Miller. Miller now at the plate. It's interesting. He plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Over to first. Two up, two down in the top of the second. Batting seven, the second baseman, Ernie Clement. And up next for Cleveland, Ernie Clement. Pitch misses inside, ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And another ball. Fouls one off. Two and two. The wind of the pitch. This one popped up. India on the move. Makes the grab. And that'll do it. Guardians fail to score. But they hold a one nothing lead. Back here in Cincinnati, Cal Farmer up to the plate now. Leading off for the Red, the shortstop, Kyle. And the pitch. Farmer. Line to left. That'll drop in. Plays it on a hop. Solid swing from that start to tough. end. On time with everything. Hitter. Really good balance. Start. Nice extension. Move. And he Not met it out there. front for the line drive knock. Here's Mike Moustakis to hit. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one.
Farmer aboard here at first with nobody out. Next offering is foul back. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of a double play here. And he'll two. That misses, and that's ball one. Righty to the plate. Line drive. That's a base hit out of the left center field. Lead runner to second. So two on and nobody out. All over that one right there. You see him come off the bat like the that. You know it was pretty much a perfect Red swing. Jam. And for me, I start Red wondering, Red. I'm looking on the computer, what was the exit velocity? This time 106. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Brandon Drury to the plate. And it's fouled away. Pitch popped up and the infield fly rule call. Batting nut, the center fielder, Jake Fraley, the next to hit for the Reds. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield should be an inning ending double play. In the dirt. So the tying run at second. He's nope. looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, you're going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. That one missed, now 3 and 0. Oh. And a 3 0 oh finds his own. And he walked it. Six. Jonathan India getting ready to hit. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. First pitch and he just misses. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Righty delivers. Off the mark there. Now two balls and a strike. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. And a 2-1 on the way. And that one is lifted in the air. Carrying well. Pulls it in on the warning track. That's a sacrifice fly as he comes across. It's 1-1. That wasn't your standard sack fly. He barreled that baseball, just couldn't get it to drop in. Tyler Naquin to the plate. He's 0 for 1. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Next offering is downstairs. Tied up here in the early going. Next offering is fouled back.
two outs. Three, two now. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. And here it comes. There's a swing and a drive. Back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. We head on down to the top of the third. All tied 1-1. set for the start of the inning. Now it's Oscar Mercado. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Late swing, fouled off. The pitch. Check swing, went around, and a count is 0-2. The next pitch misses and a count one and two. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. That's his second strikeout. I'll tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. Austin Hedges now. And that one fouled off. The wind and the pitch. Now one and one. One ball, one strike. Swing and a base hit. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. At the play, Miles Straw. Slice to right. Can't glove it cleanly. Now that number 67. One down. Number 67 digs in for the Guardians. And that's in there for strike one. And the 0-1. Laser could be extra bases. Runner around third. One run scores. Here comes another. He'll score. Two runs are in, and they take a two-run lead. Well, he had the opportunity to drive in some runs, and he comes through to break the tie. He got a pitch he could drive, but he didn't get too excited like a lot of guys do and pull off the baseball. Really good timing all the way through the swing, and the barrel was so on plane with the ball. Easy drive into the gap for that double. Now it's Jose Ramirez. First offering misses the mark. One out and a runner at second. Oh, that got him on the mound. To first, and he beats it.
Now a right-handed arm out of the bullpen, number 84. He's making his second appearance of the season. One away, runners at first and third. And the batter now, Franmil Reyes. The designated hitter, Franmil Reyes. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit, run scores. Throw comes in and holds the runner at third. They're at the corners now with still only one away. Shortstop. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there was just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. And now it's Ahmed Rosario. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Right-handed reliever, and it's even up. Kicks and deals. Swing and a high fly ball to left. He's in on the sacrifice fly. It's 5-1. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and the deep enough, baseman. and that's exactly Owen what he did. Good pass Miller. to the baseball. And here's the first baseman, Owen Miller. That one ripped left field. And out of here! His second of the year, and they add on. It's 7-1. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat. You watch him from the on deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Now Total bad. conviction on that swing. Ernie. Digging in, Ernie Clement. Yeah. And there's a hit. Around first, digging for two. Puts the tag on, leaving the box, and that's the third out. They bring nine to the plate, and six come around to score. We head now to the home half of inning number three. It's the Guardians seven and the Reds one. Back here at Great American Ballpark as we go to the last of the third. And now the catcher comes up to you. Tyler Stevens. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Right side, Clement collects in plenty of time to first and a quick out number one. The first baseman, number 19. And the batter now is Joey Votto. In there for strike one. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. Next offering in the dirt, and the count is one and one. And a count one and two. Kicks and fires. That one missed. Let's go, 
Wang and a ball hammered left field. Leaps at the wall, but can't haul it in. And that's a double. So, man aboard, Aristides Aquino now. He was a strikeout victim his first time. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Aquino. pitch that one hammered center field this one's got a chance slams into the wall and hangs on and he moves up to third now two away man boog i love watching an outfielder take on the wall to make that play and it's a lot easier to watch from up here because that can be painful in the end you know the wall's coming up on you quickly so you have to maintain concentration and able to make that catch and hold on to it after contact farmer stands in with two away as he takes the ball right there and fouled off On the ground at first, and he picks it up in foul territory. The one two. And now two and two. Two outs and one in scoring position. Got and that is that. So one left for Cincinnati. They're down seven to one. As we go to the top of the fourth, now here is Oscar Mercado for the Guardian, the right fielder, Oscar Mercado. And he deals. Mercado tries to hold up, appeal to first. Yes, he did. That's a swing. Next offering is in for a strike. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Next offering down in the dirt. The wind of the pitch stays alive. And he grounds one back up the middle. That's a base hit. Good two strike hitting right there Boog a bit now of a lost start for some so that was nicely done Austin. to beat the odds just kept it simple played pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from and there was just no one there to knock it down. And at first Austin Hedges stands in. In there and it's own one. Rudder at first with no outs here. That's in there. And it's nothing in two. 0 oh, 2 count, both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking, I don't want to get beat here. This is a good time for something off speed away. And a foul ball, he stays alive. <laughs> Next pitch is outside. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And that's the first out. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from a same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, that's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes, and very difficult to lay off. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's the Cleveland leadoff hitter, Miles Straw. First offering, and it just misses. Count 
Pickoff throw. Mercado dives back in safely. And a pitch. Hard hit, left field, base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Having himself now a really down. nice game at the plate. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Two on with one out. Now the left fielder, number 67. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Ball one, no strike. Mercado at second, straw over at first with one away. All right, red. Line drive. Can't get their base hit. Mercado doesn't stop. Heads for home. He'll score easily. It's 8 1. Picks himself up an RBI. When you connect and it now jumps off your bat like the that, you're thinking double we'll at the very him. least. Put a we'll great swing him. on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Here's Jose Ramirez. This ball's chopped in the ground. Boots it, and he'll be safe at first. And that is oh, his 1,000th major league hit. hit. A nice Wrong moment for him. Yeah, anytime Ooh. you flip the page on a career milestone, it feels really good. You know that number's in front of you for a long time, and you can't get there fast enough. Good for him. Pitcher for the Reds, Dowry Moretta. He comes in with his team trailing by a bunch, so he'll try to keep it where it is. So at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And now the DH, Ron Mil Reyes. And he's already singled in this game. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Still only one out here in the inning. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Gosh, a little late on that breaking ball. I don't think he recognized it out of the hand. Just a little tardy. Gonna have to regroup here. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. That's the second out. Well, when you swing through that one breaking ball that puts you up against the ropes with two strikes, you think he's either going to double up or try to blow a fastball by you with the next pitch. Right there, he snapped off another curve. It was the same result as the pitch before. Stepping up for the Guardians, Ahmed Rosario. Yeah, the first offering is not close. Two on, two outs. So two balls and no strikes. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound, okay with getting deep in the count, even falling behind. Well, in this situation, ahead 2-0, he's put himself in a really good spot. That's hard hit on the line. Can't get there. Should be extra bases. One run is in. In there safely. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, the and then guys have a six. better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. So in now for Cleveland, Owen Miller. In there for strike one.
Man on second, two down. And ball one. I got a ball, one strike. Steel, steel, Here's steel. the pitch. Runner breaks for third. There's the ball. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. When you get thrown out at third with two outs, you kind of want to keep on running. Not a great decision there as it ends the Bottom of the inning and ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Mike Moustakis. The designated you know, every hitter. pitcher wants to run support and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Out towards left center. Number 67 under it. And there's one down. Now batting. The third baseman. Brandon. Down the third baseman. Drury. Brandon Drury. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out and he makes all the plays. That one's in there, 0 and 1. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond, and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. And a pop up, right side, foul territory. Miller pulls that one down, and there's two down. The batter, the center fielder, Jake Braley. Jake Braley, the next to hit for the Reds. Good power, not great in the OBP department. First offering, misses the mark. Next offering is in for a strike. Next one misses and a count two and one. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. The fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Two two now. Stays alive. Two two now. And down on strikes he goes. And that's the third out. Reds go down quietly. They trail by double digits. 11 to 1. And welcome back. Ready now for the fifth inning. Here's a speed threat. Owen Miller. The first baseman, number six. Owen Miller. Moretta back to work. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there, on its way and out of here. An absolutely majestic shot. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And they add to the lead. It's 12-1. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Now it's the second baseman, Ernie Clement. Now batting, second baseman, Ernie. Nope. First pitch, and he just misses. And the right-hander deals. Foul ball. Now this is in the air down the line. Aquino towards the line, looking up, makes a one-handed catch. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay close. Now Oscar Mercado, one for two. And that's in there for strike one.
And the righty deals. And it's one and one. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Next offering way off the plate. Ripped on a line to center. Fraley racing over to make the catch. The catcher, number 17, Austin Hedges. And up next for Cleveland, Austin Hedges. And Chris, his big strength is defense. But it is interesting, in today's world of baseball, compared to when you played, a good defensive catcher is considered nope. differently. Whatever you get offensively is a bonus, but he's got to put the fingers down. He's got to present pitches to the umpire. They're going to help his pitcher get more strikes. Next offering misses, and the count is 2-0. and oh. I think the other component is putting down the finger that the pitcher wants to throw and being on the same page, and that's something that this guy does really well, gets in sync with his pitchers. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Over near the wall, Votto makes the catch, and that'll do it. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. Home half of the fifth coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Welcome back. John Chavi with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five. Jonathan India. The second baseman. Jonathan India. The right hander back to work. And a foul ball, third base side. And a pitch. And a foul ball. Plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game, looking at the pitching matchup, where you expected offense to score, and not as lopsided as this. Uh, but yeah, you definitely oh expected to see some offense coming up. Wow, Singy. Statcast tells us he fired an absolute bullet to first, and it needed to be a bullet. Yeah, 87 miles per hour on a line move, and that's some heat from across the diamond. Really close play at first, but the ball just beat him to the bat. In now for the Reds, Tyler Naquin. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. One down, base is empty. That misses the zone, and the count even one and one. Check swing, but he went too far. And the count one and two. And a ball and two strikes. The punch out there, and there's two down. Chris, third time through the order, and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's now been Matt very frugal catches. today, economical Tyler. with the pitch count. Next for Cincinnati, Tyler Stevenson. First pitch, not close. Righty delivers. That misses. And that's ball two. The 2 0 is in for a strike. Next pitch off the play. Three balls and a strike. Yeah. 
in for a strike. Now it's three and two. The guy's going this good. He's retired seven in a row. You got to step out of the box, fake bunt, do something to break it up. And there's ball four. The first base runner at first with two away. Joey Votto, the next to hit for the Reds. Ground ball right side. Miller takes it himself out number three. Reds leave one. They're looking up at a 12-1 deficit. Top six. Here's the Cleveland leadoff hitter, Miles Leading Straw. The Guardian. The center fielder, number seven, Miles Straw. The right hander back to work. There's a strike. And a foul ball. The pitch. And downstairs. Ripped on a line. Calls it in. And there's one away. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself about it. it's about Number the process. 67. He did everything right, right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Come on, and a foul ball. All in one now. And there's a the ball. That one fouled off. Left hand hitter waits. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time, good, balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. Runner on at first with one gone. Jose Ramirez digs in for the Guardians. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way, gone. Jose Ramirez bops one out, and they add to their lead. It's 14-1. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for, crushes it, and hits it out of the ballpark. Takes over on the mound. He's into the game with the bases in. He's having an excellent season so far. ERA is under two. A lot of flexibility coming out of the bullpen. One out, base is empty. Ron Mil Reyes will hit next. Designated hitter, Ron Mil. First offering and it just misses. And the 1 0. Check swing, but he went too far. Strike one. The pitch. And that one hammered. That's back. And that ball is gone. Fred Mill Reyes goes deep. His first homer of the year, it's 15 1. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. 
Back-to-back -back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. Yeah, Next to hit, Ahmed Rosario. Ahmed. In there Good for ball. strike one. Here's your one. He swings and fouls one off. Right hander kicks deals. Swing and a bouncer. Has to barehand it, and they get the out. The first baseman, number six, Owen Miller. Miller takes one off the outside here. Swing and a line drive caught. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. To the bottom of the sixth inning. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the six, and ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Aristides Aquino. The wide to kick the pitch. Just missed. Ball one, no strike. And now it's even up. In the air, right side. Mercado under this one. Squeezes it. And there's one away. Now batting. Shortstop, Kyle Farmer. Now it's the shortstop, Kyle Farmer. I'm going to take you down. This one popped up. Clement settles under it. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. Yeah. Now back. The designated hitter, Mike Moose Two outs, bases empty. Now it's the Reds' DH, Mike Moustakis. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. The wind of the pitch. And now two and nothing. That one drilled left field. That's back there. Go! Mike Moustakis goes deep. His first homer of the year is 15 2. count a hitter is on high alert this is what you live for to be in the driver's seat here he got a pitch that he could handle and he hit that pitch really hard nice home run so two away with nobody on yeah, the batter down now batter. Brandon Drury the third baseman Brandon bounced up the middle Drury. into the outfield base hit First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. Center, really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just Three. shot it through the infield. Two outs, runner at first. In now for the Reds, Jake Fraley. A strikeout and a walk. In there, and it's 0-1.
Drury off of first with two away. Next offering is down low. Next one misses two and one. The two one. Now fly ball to right center. Mercado long run on his horse makes a nice running catch. And that's the inning. One for the Reds on the homer. We're through six full. It's Major League Baseball and it's on the show. Back here at Great American Ballpark, top of inning number seven, stepping up for the Guardians. Ernie Clement. The second baseman. Ernie Clement. Santiago back to work. And first offering is fouled off. And the pitch. Ooh. Activity in the bullpen. Jeff Hoffman getting ready to go. Hendricks, a hard throwing right hander, up as well. Here's a 1 1. Out to short. Throw over to Votto. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Now batting the right fielder, Oscar Mercado. Now it's Oscar Mercado, one for three. On, Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. First offering misses the mark. So how much does his speed factor into his ability to go get it? It's heartbreaking for the hitter because off the bat, he thinks this ball is going to get down. Because of that speed and the ability to make up so much ground, he enters the picture and breaks a guy's heart. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. The catcher, number 17, Austin Hedges. Austin Hedges now. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing. The ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Really good athlete. And many times we talk about, you know, the feet of infielders. This catcher as well, really quick feet. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. A solo shot. His first homer of the year. It's 16 to 2. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrists to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the loft, and gets the home run. New pitcher now, Jeff Hoffman. And we'll see how he performs in this situation with his team down big. Jeff. Huffman. And up next for Cleveland, Miles Straw. The center fielder, number seven, Miles. And first Straw. offering is fouled off. pitch line to right and that'll be a base hit back to back base hits nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line you know hitters they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field and it doesn't always translate into the game but right there it did and he did it perfectly so man aboard and here is number 67 that one's in there, 0 and 1. 0 and 1. Ah. 
Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. It's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. At the belt and fires. Here's a drive out to right center. Way back there. Look out. Gone. His first homer of the year, and they tack on to their lead. It's 18 to 2. Now it's Jose Ramirez. He's already homered in this game. Now that third baseman, Jose. First pitch, and that's Ramirez. in for a strike. Deal one. That one hammered, but pulled foul. Next pitch is downstairs. Next offering is foul back. Left hand batter waits. That one misses. Two and two. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single than have to waste six. And meanwhile, this a fair ball down the left field line. Makes the turn and heads for second. It's a double, his fourth hit of the game. Four hits in a row, and they're really swinging it here. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced, and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Man at second here with two away. Ron Mule Reyes digs in for the Guardians. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Rudder at second, two down. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. A two-run shot, his second home run of the game, and they add a couple more. It's 20 to two. Singy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. Yo, no, Boog, clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. Would have been a long strike, but instead, batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. Ryan Hendricks gets the call from the pen. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. And now it's Ahmed Rosario. The bat, number one. Shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. And that's in there for strike one. All ones account. And he'll one. Hammered down the right side, but foul. Mm -hmm. 
Two down, nobody on. That one ripped. And it one hops the wall. In safely with a double, his second of the day. With that fastball, even though it's high velocity, you've got to live on the outer edges. When it's right on a tee, right down the middle, professional hitters are not going to have a problem turning it around. And stepping in is the speedy Owen Miller. Into center and a base hit. Rosario around third. Check that. He'll stop at first with a single after putting on the brakes. Runner from second scores as they add on. And the yeah, lead continues to grow. Well, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. So two down. Ernie Clement digs in for the Guardians. First pitch, and he just misses. And he hits a ground ball right side. Base hit. They stop the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. So in now for Cleveland, Oscar Mercado. First offering, and it just misses. Next pitch is inside, 2 and 0. Oh. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Next pitch misses, and that's ball three. When the skipper calls down to the bullpen, he's expecting the guy to come in and get outs. So far, not getting what he was hoping for. Miller, the lead runner out at second. Clement at first, two out of the inning. In for a strike, now three and one. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a the quick catcher, free pass. Austin. Austin Hedges stands in. First offering misses the mark. Base is loaded, two down. Next offering is fouled back. And a 1-1. Good eye in that spot. Boog, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Two outs. And now the count filled up three and two. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And he's down on strikes. For the second time today. So they turn to the lefty in this spot, Logan Allen.
and a healthy Number sized lead for him to go to work Logan. with. Well, I think Allen. that what makes him so tough against left-handers is he hides the ball for a long time. And from that same side, it's harder for you to determine which the part of the play he's going to end up on. Jonathan. The big India. lefty turns, kicks, deals. India takes a strike as he leads things oh, off. One. Bullpen activity starting up now. Ryan Shaw appears to be getting loose. Goes getting loose as well. The 0-1. Ball one there. One and one. Right side. Mercado gets under it. Calls it in, and there's one away. Cooper. The right fielder. Number 12. Tyler. Tyler Naquin to the plate. The other way, and foul ball. And now the lefty, a bit behind with that swing. It's okay. strike one. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Owen oh, Chu now. Nope. Stairs. That's a really good job of laying off the 0 2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even <laughs> though he's behind in the count. The wind in the pitch. Helpful. Three. Down on strikes. And there are two down. Didn't agree with the call at the plate right there. Now, Boog, in a game like this, that's just too close to take. It's a blowout game. Guys have been out here for a while. Umpire's saying, hey, let's go. Cut it loose. Swing the bat. Here's the Reds catcher, Tyler Stevenson. In there for strike one. And there's a foul ball. On the ground, right side. Clement over to first. And that is the inning. <laughs> We go to the eighth. Here's the Cleveland leadoff hitter, Miles Straw. We talk about guys with good fielder. speed, and Miles definitely he has it. But pushing Straw. the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. And there's the strike. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Man, he smoked that now fastball. He's all Number over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time up, he'll find a hole. Number 67 digs in for the Guardians. And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. Pitches outside. Next one off the plate inside. And it's 3 0. Kicks and deals. And a four pitch walk. 
definitely lost the handle during that sequence. Four pitches for the walk, yeah, and that last one didn't even pitch. threaten the zone. Okay. Catcher might want to go talk to him. Here's Jose Ramirez. First pitch just misses. Number 67 leads off first with one away. And it's fouled away. And a pitch. And a strike in there. That's down and in. Ready to count two and two. Popped up. India puts it away. That's out number two. Now batting the designated hitter, Franmil Reyes. Now it's Franmil Reyes. First pitch, and he just misses. Next offering is downstairs. And here it comes. Fouled off. He was late. Right handed reliever. And that one missing low. Kicks and fires. And that's ball four. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. So two on with two away. Ahmed Rosario digs in for the Guardians. In there and it's 0-1. There it was, a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. First and second, two down. Wait. Fought off foul. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. You're a little late. Opposite field not. The next offering misses. One and two to count. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Stevenson whips it to first. That's out number three. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And the batter now is Joey Votto. Ready to go for the red. The first baseman, Joey Votto. The wind of the pitch. And takes low for ball one. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. He's trying to stay away from this lefty, knowing that a lot of left handers like the ball down and in. Go red. Here comes a pitch. And now two and one. Oh, Next three. offering misses. And now three and one. Now that's smacked to right center. And no one can get there. It falls in. 
Straw returns it to the infield. And they hold him at second. Maybe this is going to be the moment they start to come back. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Got a good pitch to drive, stayed short with his bat path to the ball and caught it out front, and he stayed long in his follow-through. That's how you split the gap, and that's pretty much a double every time. Aristides Aquino now. The left fielder, number 44. And the first pitch misses for ball one. You're going to get something going. This is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. No outs. Runner on second. Slice down the right side. So now one and two. Runner leads away at second. Pitch misses. Now two and two. Now all leave it up. That one ripped but foul. Pitch. That misses the zone. And now three and two. Next offering is foul back. Three, two. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. And there's one away. Kyle Farmer. Kyle Farmer up to the plate now. And first offering is fouled off. Votto over at second, one down. Oh, and two now. Good eye right there. One ball, two straight. Let's go, Red. Come on. The pitch. Up the middle. On the run, sends it over to first, and there are two outs. The designated hitter, number nine, Mike Moustakas. So with the purpose, there is a reason, and then if I retreat... Here's Mike Moustakas to hit. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. And that one is lifted in the air. Mercado makes the catch, and that'll do it. So a new arm out of the bullpen for the Reds, Art Warren. This is his third time out this year. Back here in Cincinnati, all set to start the ninth in this one. Stepping up for the Guardians, Owen Miller. Owen Miller. And a pitch. That one missed. Two balls, no strikes to count. And the right-hander deals. Strike on the inside corner. And a pitch. Oh, 
Fouls one away and now three and two. Righty to the plate. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. The pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Three, two on the way. On the ground to short. Farmer over to pick it up. Rolls across the diamond, and the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Now back, second baseman, Ernie Clement. Here's the second baseman, Ernie Clement. Really good piece of hitting last time, going to the opposite field. That one's in there, 0 and 1. The Cincinnati bullpen has some movement. Justin Wilson, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. Right-hander kicks, deals. Strike two. And down on strikes he goes. Out number two. Committed to that breaking ball just a little too much and couldn't pull the bat back now in that, time. You know, Mike once you get it going, oh, it can be so Mariana. tough to stop the momentum with that barrel. Good pitch, had him fooled. Mercado takes a strike there as he stands at the plate now. And the righty deals. Swing and a pop up. He's got it, and that'll do it. And welcome back. We head to the bottom of the ninth and ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Go. Brandon the Drury. Red. The third baseman. Brandon Drury. And the pitch. This one lifted in the air, left field. And it's caught for the out. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open the instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other Brandy. way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Now it's going to be Jake Fraley. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Next one off the plate inside. Ball one. In the air out towards right center. Straw makes the grab. And a couple of quick outs. The batter, number six. Second baseman. Jonathan India at the plate. India. And that's in there for strike one. The next pitch misses, and it's a ball to strike. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. The right fielder, number 12, Tyler. Now it's the right fielder, Tyler Naquin. In there for strike one.
India, the runner at first with two gone. Next one misses. One ball, one strike. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss. One and two. That pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge. Just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter to track. Next offering is down low. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. And that one's gone! Tyler Naquin rounds the bases. His second of the year, it's 21-4. to four. Pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Tyler Stevenson, the next to hit for the Reds. Now batting, the catcher. That one's in there on one. Stevenson. Just one out away, try to close it out. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. Base hit. Stringing them together. That's three hits in a row. The kind of a risky pitch the coming inside base. with the breaking ball like that. You have to bury it. Otherwise, it's not too difficult to get the bat to it like he did that time. And now the first baseman, Joey Votto. Next pitch downstairs. And that is ball one. The lefty, the 1 0. Line drive, base hit. Up next for Cincinnati. No left field. A new arm into the game, the righty, Brian Shaw. And he's got a nice lead to work Your with. Attention, please. Now pitching for the number 27, Brian Shaw. Here's the left fielder, Aristides Aquino. First off, and it just misses. Let's go, wait for the pitch. Two outs. So two balls and no strikes. 2-0 count to a guy with this much pop at the dish. Better expect him to be turning on something. It's going to either get hit hard to the pull side or the fans better look out in the stands. The pitch. That's in for a strike. Righty delivers. Two balls, two strikes to Cal, but two outs. The next offering misses. Three and two down. Is just one strike away. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Just one strike away. Stays alive. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. On the ground, right side. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Guardians slug their way to a win in this one.
After four wins in a row, you start to think a little bit that you're on a roll, and that's the momentum that just takes on a life of its own. Guys start hitting up and down the lineup. You never know who's going to come up with the big hit, who's going to come out of the bullpen and get the big outs, but it's a good feeling, and you want to extend it. So this one got a little out of hand. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chompy. We'll see you soon. Time of the ball game, four hours and nine minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.